Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, there was some buzz that Oprah was considering running for president after seeing Donald Trump could be president, right? Here's what she had to say in an interview. Uh, Hold on. She didn't say, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I actually never thought that that was, I never considered the question even a possibility. I just thought, oh, oh. I thought, oh, gee, I don't have the experience. I don't know enough. I don't know. And now I'm thinking, oh. (laughs) <laughs> totally understand how oh. Oprah feels. I mm. said that months ago. If you ever needed evidence that you can truly be anything you want in America, Donald Trump is it. He builds the greatest case of optimism ever, even more so than President Obama. Mm-hmm. So after she said that, people were like, hmm, is Oprah considering perhaps running for president? Well, she definitely cleared that up. They posted a clip from the David Rubenstein show, and here's what she said. As you consider whether you're going to run for president or not, in the United States or not. No, that, that won't be happening. But, I, I mean, I did use, I did use to think, well, oh, gee, you had to know so much more than I thought you had to know. Basically, she's saying Donald Trump has no political experience None. whatsoever, never even been a oh. class president of oh. his school. Nope. So she thought that you had to have experience to be in the White House, but clearly you don't. So she's like, oh, okay. Maybe All right. this, this is something I want to put on my bucket list one day. Now, mm. Brad Pitt has been texting who since he and Angelina Jolie have broken up. Well, apparently he and Jennifer Aniston, his ex, are now on terms again. Mm. I guess they had gone back to being friends a little bit of time ago. And as we all know, Brad Pitt left Jennifer Aniston for Angelina Jolie. And so now, according to... Uh, Stores who told People Magazine it's nothing new. He didn't have to jump through hoops to get Jennifer Aniston's number. They've been friends for a while. They text often. And she's already married, so she's not trying to get back with Brad Pitt. But now they're friendly again, now that you've gotten rid of the woman that you cheated on me with. All right, Viola Davis. Man, I love this story. Now, People Magazine did a cover story about Viola Davis, and she talks about having only one picture of herself from her childhood. She said, it's a picture of me in kindergarten. They actually had posted the picture on People as well. And she said her family didn't have the money for a camera. That's why she only has one picture of herself. And she goes on to talk about the struggle and how she grew up. And we love the fact that she's now an Oscar winner, and she won for the movie Fences. But here's what she said about her childhood. My grandmother's house is one room, shack, no running water, no bathroom, it's just outhouse. But my mom says that the day I was born, all of my aunts and uncles were in the house. She said everyone was drinking and laughing and having fun. It's a great story to me. It's a great story of celebration in the midst of what you would feel is a decimated environment, but you could see the joy and the life that can come out of that. My dad had a fifth grade education. My dad, my mom has an eighth grade education. My dad learned how to read by looking at billboards. They were happy that I wanted to be anything. Wow. What she, a story. Was, she was born in South Carolina too, by the way. Mm. St. You know Matthew, South Carolina. She talked about how they had such a bad rat problem when she was growing up. The rats would bite off the faces of her dolls and Ooh. she had to go to sleep with rags tied around her neck so that they wouldn't bite her. Wow. Can you imagine? But she said it was motivation for her as opposed to anything else. What a story. Yeah. Drop on a clues, mom, for Viola Davis. St. Matthew, South Carolina. She said she chose from a very young age. She didn't want that for her life, and that's what affected her the most. You can do anything you put your mind to out there. Donald Trump is president, kids. (laughs) You can be anything you want to be. Absolutely. Okay, in America. All right? All right. Now, Michael Jackson's mother, Katherine Jackson, is saying that she's being filmed all throughout her house. She said her nephew is not just stealing money from her, but he's monitoring her every move. There's hidden cameras and microphones everywhere. So she's saying that uh, Lamar Jackson copied the key to her bedroom door. Trent Lamar Jackson, she thinks that he has the whole house wired. She said, the only place I can try and have a private conversation is in my bathroom. I have to pretend I'm using the restroom so I can make a call. And she gets dressed in her closet because she thinks that Trent is listening. I read that. Why can't she just kick him out? And watching every move. No, she's saying there's cameras. She, but that, that's her house, though. Everywhere in the house. So she believes that he's stealing. He's putting her na- his name on her businesses, using her credit cards. And all of that. So all of her kids have problems with Trent. I don't know what's going on, but they need to figure this out. She might be right, but it's not like Catherine getting old, too. That's a little, a little paranoia, dementia. a little yeah. dementia, a little paranoia, and everything kicking in. Well, I don't know. Because if you know you're being recorded, how about call somebody over to remove, remove the camera? Yes, yeah, it's her house. That's what I was saying. That might be a little dementia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, the she, other family members should check it out. Yeah, she's bugging out. They definitely should. Janet right. should go over there. Or it could be the ghost of Michael just watching over her. You said Janet should go over there. She should. Mm-hmm.
All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.